Enemies down. Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yugnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it, you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. That's a start. Ah, teamwork. Oh! Oh, but that's just two of them. And they're angry. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Folky! 
<laughs> you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Loose it enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. I know you! You're the rump suckler about to get clean! Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Now that we can reach it. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right, now I can turn this plane and cap that guy in your face. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. <laughs> Turn it again. Promising. There you go. Right on the money. Gates open. Come on through and get those cables. Well, 
I think they seen us. They're up oh. there! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Finally! Now we can ride on up to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract to expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? <clears throat> Bam pot. For the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on! I smell trouble. So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't a more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. <laughs> but today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, 
Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it! She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Verger almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. 
Not at all. This weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! You got volunteers! It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What hell? Ain't this just like old times? I need to put it more forebodingly myself. <laughs> doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only is to protect you. Weren't his call to make him. Guys, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through her paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <laughs>
sure way to alter your circumstances on the right quick. See? You're a natural! Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. <laughs> ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> He's all right. Oh. Now my balls are taking over the ground. We better beat them out. <laughs> On your right! Watch your right! Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. Look out below! Bit late for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those Grim will take him down. Nope. over yonder. I see a shorter path. Aye. So we let Brock improve your gear before we go. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. 
been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. What are you looking for? You know what you want? This will draw attention from your face, at least. Actually, looks pretty good on you. Big man? Need something special? Take your crap. Hand it over already. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Ready when you are. Wait, feels like there was something else. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. <laughs> Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a, has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age. To break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that? Kratos, what do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. 
Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. You. Let's see what Brock made you. Brock! <laughs> 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 Any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. Triple false god! 
Lucky I fake my ball bag. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Hey, big guy. Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Einharyar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Why? Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. Now do the thing! Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Sail shit like I said. Why? Some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything you see it in plan. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught him all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here.
and Lady Freya? Make up your mind? That'll polish up real nice. You make up your mind. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? 
father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Uh. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Through. Hey, it's through. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, OK. Uh, here, then take this and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And uh, Atreus, see you later. Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later?